This one's kind of a doozy. Not much exciting happened in this one in terms of failures like last month. Um, probably the most exciting, but not really exciting thing is my cold, so please um, ignore any disgusting sounding sniffles, um, coughs, etc, etc. Um, and hopefully I don't sound too weird. I sound much weirder in my head as I'm sure I do than um, I do out loud. This month's project is a wrap skirt envelope skirt. Yay. I have um, wanted an envelope skirt for quite some time. I actually did a blog post on it a couple months back. And when I found a pattern to make one, I said, this is perfect. Much like, much like Bogart, who loves to be included. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, it's a pretty easy skirt to make. From what I've found, you basically just wrap it around you and pin it and then make one of the front sides angle down a little bit longer. So, that being said, last month's project was also supposed to be really easy and it wasn't. <laughs> so, knock on wood, here's to this month's project being much nicer to me. So first things first with this skirt, I've washed the fabric, I have ironed the fabric, and before I get started um, using myself as the model and um, pattern for this skirt, I have measured on myself about from where I want the skirt to hit. So I am going to shorten the fabric so that it's all at that length, and then once I finish cutting it, I will then wrap it around myself and start to pin and hopefully I don't severely butcher it because my mom's not home and if I fail then I'm back at square one and having to buy new fabric so here goes nothing. As with any sewing project, there's lots and lots of sewing from going over stitches to restitching to just the, the first time stitching the hems and, and stitching what needs to be stitched together together. But the tricky part is having to A, either redo it and redo it and redo it and redo it and B, hand stitching, which was this month's lesson. While it's easy to do basic hand stitching, what was different with this one is... That you, you pretend like that, it's, two, it's really two layers of thread. Mm -hmm. So you go through kind of the top layer. See, it, it doesn't go through the bottom, mm -hmm. so it doesn't show. And then you go through that one. So that posed the trick of when hand stitching that, getting it in between the two layers of fabric so it didn't show up on the outside. And while there's probably a couple of spots where you can see a tiny, tiny, tiny stitch on the outside, it's tiny, 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 so it's not gonna ruin the, the, the skirt. You're not gonna be able to notice it unless you are up close examining it. And unless you are Heidi Klum or Tim Gunn, I don't expect you to be doing that. <laughs> Finished hand stitching the seam, and holy hand cramp. Yeah. <laughs> that was unexpected. Um, but mama, would you be a deer and check it, please? It looks good. That's where I had to get the new thread. You want to tie those together and then just clip them off. So. Okay. Oh, that looks great, Cody. Did a good job. The, if anything, I would say your stitches are too long because there's a chance uh -huh. you'll catch one and the whole thing will pull. But other than that, they look great. I don't know how these um, 
couture people do it. Hand stitching hundreds and thousands of beads on, on gowns. Uh-uh. Uh, mm. I mean, it only took me less than an hour, maybe 30 minutes. And I was in pain. There was a little mishap with the zipper, but again, I blame my mom for that one. This is what you asked me about before. If you cut this, you're going to have a raw edge. Oh, I know what we have to, what, what it should be. Okay, we, we needed to make it. I'm sorry, you have to take that. We're going to have to make a seam. So that we'll have that little bit of edge. Sorry, you're right. Uh, it done you so good! Well, you shouldn't be able to see it from the outside. That's why I'm thinking that's something's wrong with that. You shouldn't be able to see the stitch. Wouldn't be a proper project if I didn't have to rip some seams. So we had to create kind of a faux hem to put the zipper in to then cut and then sew it on there and then make sure it lined up. It was all kind of weird. And of course it wasn't without being completed without ripping seams. Um, well, hello Bogart. Somebody wants to join me. Hi buddy. Hey buddy. You lay down? Lay down. All right. Got a little co-host here today. <laughs> um, and with, <laughs> lost my train of thought, um, the zipper and seam ripping, yeah. Um, and the seam ripping was especially, all right, he was bored apparently, or uncomfortable. Um, okay, so the seam ripping for the third and hopefully charmed time was mostly with the darts on the skirt. Um, and this is just something that I am sure is common for people who make their own clothes who have a larger butt than they do waist, which I fall into that category. So the trick here is to make it big enough to fit over the butt with the help of the zipper, so thank you for the zipper, but then once the zipper is closed for it to be tight enough around the waist or the hips or wherever it's sitting that it doesn't either A, fall down, or B, ride up, and then show your butt, because you, you don't want that. Um, so that was really tricky. It took a lot of, okay, we'll do this little dart. Nope, not enough. All right, let's try this again. So making the dart larger and larger and larger, and every time you make it larger, you have to then rip the seam of the smaller one because you don't want, you know, seven different seams in one dart because then it makes it all bulky and all that. While I still don't have it quite perfect yet, it is getting better. Um, so hopefully by the time you see me out wearing the skirt, it will properly fit and not be either riding up or falling down. I do need to get a little clasp to put at the top of the zipper. Somebody's readjusting. Um, a clasp at the top of the zipper, which my mom said will also make it just a little smidgen tighter. As for my next few projects, I already have the fabric for the next two. I am on top of it and I am so excited because I really like both of them, which hopefully means I will crank them out a lot faster than <laughs> I have been doing. Um, and, and part of me is thinking I might be able to do these on my own, but the devil on my shoulder is saying you're not good enough yet. So we'll see. 
We'll see if I end up doing these completely on my own or if I wait for the safety blanket of mommy to, to be chaperoning and looking over my shoulder. Like I said earlier, kind of a doozy. Nothing super exciting or super entertaining except of course the, the Bogart cameos which he plans on his own. He's a, he's a camera hog. Don't let him fool you. He, he loves the attention. He does, he does. But luckily, he's cute, so I don't mind. <laughs> um, but thank you for watching. Um, thank you for not turning it off because it was so dull and boring because nothing exciting happened. Um, I appreciate it and stay tuned.